Nice. I want to tell you a story right now. Story from long ago. Story of Jesus and his friends. You see, one day before our story, they'd been walking through the countryside. I like to think it was just about harvest time because that makes sense to me with the story. And uh, Jesus' disciples were walking along with them and they were picking the heads of grain and they were rubbing them in their hands and they were eating them because they must have been hungry. I can only fit the first two on the page, but the rest are all behind here. Well, there were some people at this time, they were called Pharisees. They knew all about God. They loved arguing about God. They loved talking about him. They knew all God's rules they thought. And they said to Jesus, ah, aren't you going to do something about your disciples here working on the Sabbath? Because you weren't supposed to work on the Sabbath. It was supposed to be a day that you rested. Well, Jesus said to these men, these Pharisees, have you not heard what David did? Don't you know the story of David? And how when he was hungry, he went into God's house to get something to eat. Even though that food was meant for the priest. And then, just to finish, Jesus said this. The Son of Man is the Lord of the Sabbath. I thought that was fascinating. Well, that's not our story today. Our story begins just after this. It begins like this. On another Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and as he always did, he went into the synagogue and he stood to teach the people. It says he went into the synagogue and he taught. And the people were probably all sitting around here like this. I can only fit a few in quickly. And in this synagogue, there was a man whose ha right hand was withered. And Jesus, he taught the people. And there were some Pharisees there. And they looked to see if Jesus was going to do something to the man whose right hand was withered. If he would heal him on the Sabbath. Jesus, even though he knew what they were thinking, said to the man, Come and stand here. The man got up and he went over and he stood there. Well, Jesus said to the Pharisees, he said to them, Is it lawful for a man to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath? To bring life or to destroy life? And he looked around at them all. Then he said to the man whose right hand was withered, reach out your hand. And he reached out his hand and his hand was restored. But the Pharisees and the scribes, they, they were filled with fury. They were so angry. They talked among themselves to see what they could find against Jesus. What they could do against this maybe steam coming out of their ears, They're so angry. What they might do to Jesus. That's our story, guys. You see, I love it because it reminds me of choices we're all faced with. Jesus, he went into this synagogue and he taught the people about God. The man with the withered hand was there. He didn't know everything was going to change for him that day. But when Jesus told him to get up, he had faith in Jesus. He did what he told him to do. The Pharisees and the scribes, Jesus gave them a second chance. Jesus asked them a question. What is it right to do? What's it lawful to do on the Sabbath? To bring life or to destroy life? Well... They had their choice and they made their choice. They were filled with fury, it tells us. When Jesus healed the man, he confronted them and he healed him. And they didn't like it at all. 
You know, guys, you may think, I am not like those people, those Pharisees and scribes. I'm not very religious, but lots of people think they're good. Lots of people think they know it all. The man with the withered hand, though, he listened to Jesus when he spoke to him. He put his trust, his faith in him, and his hand was restored. But Jesus, he gave those Pharisees, he gave those scribes a second chance. A chance to do what was right. And they didn't take it. You know, guys, we all have that choice in life to make. Whether we put our faith in Jesus, whether we do what he tells us, or whether we put our hope, our trust in other things, in rules, in what we think is right or wrong. Or, like the man with the withered hand, putting our faith in Jesus, doing what he tells us, and living for him. Guys, I would just challenge you to go and read the story for yourself. You'll find it in Luke chapter 6. And from verse 6 to 11. Go and read the story. See what Jesus does to the man with the withered hand. Be like him. Listen to Jesus. And do what he tells you. Don't be like the Pharisees. Bring in only destruction and harm. Thank you for listening, guys.